Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and today I want to work on these coasters. Um, it's a little thing I've been wanting to do. Um, what I did was I took a square die and a circle die that close fit the center portion of the of the coaster. I don't want it to fit and end because you see how it's raised a little bit here. So I wanted it to fit in there as close as I can. On the heart and the flower, I made some templates using post-it notes and they fit in like this. And then you take your template and you use it to cut out the, um, the paper. And it's not exact, but it's close enough. So that's what I want to work on. These will come in a bit. And I also want to do one in the eye candy rainbow green, one in the Pacific blue, one in the rainbow red, and one in the Barney purple. That's the next step. Next layer, move this out of the way. And then what I wanna do, so I wanna take some of this stuff, it's beautiful. And I want to, I have an ounce of resin that was poured, it's right there. It's already degassed and everything. And I want to fill this channel here with this. So I'm gonna put some in, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna mix it with my stick. Another little scoop in there. I don't want it too thick, but I want it to thick enough. I think that's pretty. It looks very pretty. So I'm gonna get my little scooper thing out that I like to use. And this thing here, I like using that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here, make a mess, and just push it around. Whatever I get in the center here, I can clean up. I'm not really worried about that. So I just want to fill this up. So I'm going to probably fast forward this so you're not having to sit there and watch that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to push this in here like this, and then I'll be back and explain the next part. Mixed up another ounce of resin because this cavity is the biggest one of the four or the deepest I should say so I'm gonna try and spread it out a little thinner because I don't want it coming over the top Okay, I'll clean that one out. Let me see what I got here. This one looks good. This one looks good. What am I doing? And so does this one actually. Okay, so. How I clean the centers of my coasters is 
I get a baby wipe. I get some alcohol. And I'm gonna spray these down. And then I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm just gonna wipe this little off. Add another part. I don't know why I feel like I'm in a hurry today. Okay, that one's good for now. And then this one's good. And then whatever is left, I just take my tape and I run it across the surface. I have another baby wipe here with alcohol on it. I usually keep one going for my fingers. And I'm just going to drag that across. Drag that across like this. I don't want to pull any in. And this one I see is threatening to come over the sides. And I don't want that. So let me get that out. Okay, this one's pretty much clean. Just gotta get a couple little dots out. And there we go. It's ready for the next level, next step. So as soon as this cures, I will turn the heat mat on. I'll have the heat mat on for about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, and then I will come back. See you in a second. Hello, this is this is ready. Um, I got about four ounces of resin in these little cups. I have a little bit of clear resin to the side just in case. And I'm going to start mixing the resin. I'm going to move these to the side so I don't spill them. I'm going to do one color at a time. We will start with the rainbow red. I have a little stick right here. We'll start off about that. Let's see what we got. You want to make sure your mica powder is mixed really good. Okay, there's the red. I'm going to let it sit because I know mica powder is going to pop up. I'm going to close this. And we're going to go with the uh, Pacific Blue. These cups aren't the easiest to stir in either. It's a pretty blue. I'm going to let this sit. Let the mica powder come to the surface. The next one is going to be Barney Purple. purple is so pretty. All these colors are... 
Okay, I'm going to set that to the side and let it come to the surface. We're going to go with the rainbow green. You can probably hear my fan going in the background, trying to keep the air circulating in here. So that's what you're hearing. All right, we'll set that aside. We're going to pick up the red. That's what we started with. And you can see the mica powder had come to the surface, the stuff I hadn't mixed. So I'm really going to mix it now. Just when you think you've got it mixed enough, mix it some more. Okay, I'm going to pour the red in here. All right, and then we're going to do the blue. And I just want to get the surface coated. I'm not trying to fill up the mold, but I want enough in the mold where the resin isn't going to separate. That's good. Now let's go with the purple. And when I'm done pouring this, I am not going to turn the heat mat on. I'm going to come and check it at an hour and a half and for every 10 minutes after that until it's ready to do the next part. And now the green. I know my table's level. I don't know why I just did that. Could be the mold. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, that looks good. Um, let me spray it with some alcohol. Okay, as soon as this is ready, we will come back and do the next part. I'll see you in a second. Hello. We are ready to put these down. And what I was looking for is I'm poking and I'm coming up and there's a string coming up with it. So the little indentation down here. Uh, probably so. I'm gonna start off with this one. And I'm gonna just go right like that. Put it down in there. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. Mm, let's do the heart first since it's down here. I don't want to get my fingers caught in it. Looks good. Okay, move these. Now let's do the flower one. And these have been sealed with um, Carline Clear Coat. And I also edged my paper with black archival ink. So it doesn't have that white edge to it. And I'm trying to basically get one shot at that. That's a little low, and it's in there, so, yep. Okay, I'm going to let this fully cure, and then once it's cured, I will be back and we will top coat it so i'll be back in one second hello i'm back and this is cured it's the next day um i have five ounces of resin mixed and i want to put in a little bit of the dazzling diamond not much just a smidge like that it's not much at all. I just wanted to give it some sparkle. Okay. Mix it in. It's a beautiful day. I think I'm going to get out there and do some yard work. Okay, there's that. A lot of bubbles in there. I wasn't taking my time mixing this. Yeah, see all the bubbles popping? Hmm. So, I might let this degas for a minute. Yeah, I'm going to let this degas for a minute and then I will be back. Okay, uh, I'm going to start pouring. And 
like so and I'll add more if I when I need to some looks like it may need more than others I do want to dome it so I may have to mix up some more See what we got here. Yeah, this isn't even covered the whole thing yet. And I do want it domed because if you don't dome it, if you don't get it up to the top like this one, it's not got enough at all. You your piece will get be really sharp on the edges. So you want it to come up over the top. Let's get down to eye level. This one looks this looks like it's pretty good. This one's got to have a little filling here and there. But this one looks good. I don't want to overfill it. Yeah, that one looks good. We'll fill this one. Take it down. That one's almost there. Let's see. That one looks good. This one has not got resin over this part yet. Okay, I don't have to do any more. This looks good. This looks real good. Okay, so as soon as this, let me hit it with some. So as soon as this cures up, uh, we'll be back for the demold. I will see you guys in a second. Okay, these are cure, cured, and they look good. I did have to babysit them. Each one of these was developing a little bubble that was coming out from one little spot, and this one got past me, but no big deal. Let's start with this one. Let's see, see how it looks. But yeah, babysat it for a little bit. And I did turn the heat mat on to let it finish curing. And that's what helped prevent the bubbles from continuing to rise. That looks pretty. I have a couple bubbles that formed down there, but it's not a big deal. That looks really pretty. I mean, I don't know if the light's picking it up. That looks real pretty. That you really you can't feel it. That's smooth. This whole thing is smooth. Might have a little bit of trim up to do on the edge, not much. So there's the flower. Let's do the heart. Let's do the heart. Okay, again, that looks real pretty. Got a little bit of trim up to do on the edges. Not bad at all. Just picking away. That one looks nice. There's a couple little spots that need to be trimmed up, but nothing I can't handle. I really like that. I really, really like that. That turned out really nice. Okay, let's do the square. Real nice. Nothing, no bubbles. I babysat it good enough. That turned out real pretty. I love that color. I love how these little pick up the color. Like that's picking up the purple. That's picking up the blue. That's picking up the red. 
It's really cool. I like that. And of course you got the front. Real nice. This one has very minimal trim up, if any. This turned out really pretty. This one I noticed that I didn't get it center, but it's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker for me. Gives it charm. That is so pretty. Yeah, I got a little bubbles. I expected that with using that that mylar, the mylar flakes. See how that picked up the green? And that picked up the red. See how it picked up the, the color? I just used the same mylar flakes, but it just picked up. It's picking up on the colors. I really like this. I like these molds. They're different. They're well made too. I'll have them linked if I can find them. I got them a long time ago. But I will have them linked. So there are my coasters. And the paper I used was in here was the Graphic 45, the Kaleidoscope. I love that. I love that uh, paper collection. So, yeah. So there, you, there it is. I really like it. Let me know. Do you like it? Do you like the colors and everything? I want to thank you for hanging out with me. And I hope you return. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And to my subscribers, I truly appreciate you and you have a great day and God bless. Bye.